You're about to discover things that you can get for free on a cruise if you simply ask for them. Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge. This is another of my tips for travelers. I'm going to tell you things that you can get for free on a cruise that the brochures or the cruise lines don't necessarily tell you about. Simply by asking, you can get more bang for your buck on a cruise. First of all, extra free food. On pretty much every single cruise line, you can actually order more than one main course. Now, some cruise lines try to introduce charges for ordering extra, but they soon backed away. But you can ask for more than one main course. So if you want the lobster and the steak, you can order both of those for no extra cost. The other thing to do is go off menu. Now, on some premium cruise lines, they allow you to go off menu. However, if there's nothing on the menu that appeals, ask the waiter if you can have something off menu, particularly if it's something that was on the lunch menu or perhaps the night before. You'll have to find that they have courses or dishes that they can do at very short notice. Now, some cruise lines do have some standard items that they offer every night, whether it's steak or chicken, but a lot of the cruise lines, if you ask for something off menu, you might find that you actually can get it. If you're vegetarian or vegan, that's a great way of getting extra food that's particularly not on the menu. Most cruise lines now have some vegetarian or vegan options, but the secret is if you're interested in that or you want different food, talk to the maitre d', talk to the waiter, and they will often start to cater for you and create very specific dishes for you to meet your very specific needs. So if you have any dietary needs, you can often get extra free food that is different to what everyone else is having and especially created for you. If you're a big fan of ice cream, lots of cruise lines will now have gelato and ice cream shops. However, most of them do offer free ice cream. You'll either find that up in the Lido buffet, you'll sometimes find that on the pool deck, and certainly in the restaurants, pretty much at lunchtime and dinner, if you ask for ice cream, you will get it free without any extra costs. Another great tip is room service. A couple of cruise lines will charge for room service, but many of them do not. So if you want a nice tea or coffee in the morning, phone room service. Certainly room service is a great way to get extra food and you'll often find they have a slightly different menu to the main restaurant. Secondly, free drinks. Most cruise lines charge for drinks. There are a couple of ways of getting free drinks. First of all, and the most obvious, is attend the cocktail parties. So the welcome party, the farewell party, you'll normally find there's quite a big selection of drinks that are offered for free if there's any other events on board. So you'll often find the shops will have special events, the art auctions will have special events, and they will provide drinks for free. Now, normally that's champagne, but not necessarily. But attend those events so you don't have to buy anything and you'll find you get free drinks. Another really important thing to note is that tap water is drinkable on cruise ships. Now, some people say they don't like the taste, but it's 100% safe to drink. Bring along a refillable water bottle and perhaps bring along a couple of sachets or some cordial and use that to give your tap water a little bit of taste. Tap water is free and it's completely drinkable and by bringing those little sachets of flavor you can really spruce it up and probably save a lot of money on buying things like sodas or other soft drinks. Another great way of getting free drinks is sign up for a cruise critic meetup. A lot of cruise lines will have meetups for members of Cruise Critic. So if you're on Cruise Critic, have a look for your particular cruise, find out if there's a meetup, sign up for it and go to it because you'll find there are free drinks and there are often little nibbles and snacks. Also remember that tea, coffee, juices, things like lemonade are often available 24 hours a day in the Lido buffet restaurant. So no matter what time of the day or night you want some tea or coffee, you're gonna get those free up in the Lido deck. My third tip on free things you can get on a cruise by asking are gifts. And there's quite a few options here. First of all, one of the things to do is take part in all of the activities. You'll find that many of the activities, whether it's trivia games, deck games, run by the entertainment team, if you go to those, you will have a little card or you'll build up points. And at the end of the cruise, you can redeem those points for gifts and prizes. A lot of people take part in the activities, don't do that, and they miss out on getting a little free bits and pieces of gifts. They often tend to be a little branded merchandise. So if every cruise you go on, you do that, collect the points, you can collect a whole lot of free gifts. Another way of getting free gifts is going to the shopping talks. Now this tends to happen much more in places like the Caribbean or Alaska where duty-free shopping is a really big thing. But on board, there will be shopping advisors and they have lots and lots of free gifts and incentives to get you to go into the shops. Again, you don't normally have to buy anything, 
but by simply going to the talks, you'll get free gifts. And then by going to some of the stores, simply by going there, you can redeem different vouchers for free gifts. So it's definitely worth doing that because you'll come away from the cruise with all sorts of things, whether it's t-shirts, little lucky charms, or free samples. Another thing to do if you've forgotten some of your amenities, so that might be a comb or a brush or stuff for shaving or toothbrush and items like that, instead of heading straight for the shop, go to the guest services desk and ask them if they have an amenity kit because you'll often find, like in many hotels, you can often get those for free. The other thing to do is you'll often find in your cabin or by going to guest services, you can often get stationery, you can get envelopes, you can get writing paper, pens and postcards. One of my favorite ways of getting free gifts is to take part in some of the raffles. Now you'll find on embarkation day, you'll find a couple of the places around the ship will have raffles to get you to go there. So one of the best ones to go to is the spa. They will enter you in a raffle, they'll often give you a free drink, and you just have to be there at a certain time, normally just after the mustard drill, so five o'clock or six o'clock, and they do a draw, and you have to be there to get the prize. But on a couple of cruises, I've won packages with free massages, facials, so that's definitely something to do. You'll also find sometimes the shops will do that, particularly if they're launching a new range where they'll have a raffle, and they, want, of course, want you to go there, look at the new merchandise, but definitely look out for the little raffles around the ship where they're giving away free prizes. My fourth tip is a very easy one to do, and that's actually cruise when there's a special event taking place. So if it's your birthday or a very special anniversary, make sure that the cruise line knows that it's a special event. So let your cabin steward know, let your waiter know, most cruise lines will make a fuss over a special event. If it's your birthday, they'll often, particularly at dinner, bring you a cake. If your cabin steward knows that it's a special anniversary or your birthday, they will also normally do something. So they might bring a cake, they might put up some decorations or bring you a bottle of something bubbly. So definitely make sure that they know that you're cruising on a special event. One of the key things to do is Pick cruises when you do have a special event because it's very likely if the cruise line knows, they will make a fuss and give you something free. The fifth thing that you can get free is medication and the medical center. Now medication and seeing the medical center can cost a lot of money, but there are two pieces of medication that you can get for free. First of all, seasickness tablet. You'll find that the cruise line at the guest services desk will normally give seasickness medication away for free, particularly the sea, or they know that it's getting rough. The second is around if you have stomach upsets and you need anti-diarrheal. Now, very important, if you think that you have any of the signs of norovirus, so you're either vomiting or you have uh, diarrhea problems, if you contact the medical center, they will pretty much every single time see you for nothing. You will normally get a consultation by the doctor or the nurse for free if you think they have those symptoms and they will give you the relevant medication. My sixth tip is one that I have used quite a lot and works for me and this is around getting your cabin improved. If you have any issues with your bed, so it's too hard, it's too soft, you don't like the pillows, speak to your cabin steward and see what they can do. So often you'll find they can bring in new mattress toppers, they can give you feather pillows, they can give you memory foam pillows, and you normally find that you can get your bed adjusted and improved so that really suits you. And that's things they can normally do very easily. So don't suffer if you're not happy with your bed. The second thing that you can do is if you have a problem in your cabin, there's a noise problem or something's not working, always make sure that your cabin steward knows it, that they've also reported to their supervisor. And once they've done that, then go and report it to guest service. It's very important that sequencing of events. So I've had problems on different cruises where I've had a noise problem or something hasn't really worked. I've made sure the cabin steward's known about it. I know that they report to their supervisor and then I've gone to guest services telling them that I've reported it. So the cabin steward is verifying that you have a problem. And when that's happened, I've actually been moved to better cabins because everyone's agreed that there is a problem. So the guest services know and the hotel manager knows that it's not just you creating a fuss for fuss's sake, that your steward agrees there is a problem. And I have been moved when, of course, there's availability to better cabins as a result. So cabin improvements definitely can happen by asking and working with your cabin steward. As you can see, simply by asking, there's a whole lot of things that you can get for free to give you more bang for your buck on your cruise fare. 
Hope you found that helpful. I have loads more videos with lots of tips and advice about cruising. So why don't you watch one of those right now?